Live by Night is directed by Ben Affleck, starring Ben Affleck, and is the story of a gangster in the Prohibition era who's going up the ranks, so to speak. He starts kind of small, he's doing things he shouldn't, he's robbing banks, he's sleeping with gangsters' girlfriends, and eventually he gets to that point where he's actually making some calls and making some decisions. And it's about how he weaves in and out of this gangster era of this time period. Now, I've been a big fan of Ben Affleck's directorial efforts. I loved Gone Baby Gone. I loved the town. I loved Argo. He has really proven himself as a director, and I would say that's his best strength. And in this film, he proves that once again, because this is a very good-looking movie with terrific action set pieces and some good drama. But it's unfortunately definitely his worst film as a director, in my opinion, because the film, after its first act, begins to meander quite a bit and can't really find its footing. I would say the first 30 minutes of this movie were excellent. I was on board. There is an incredibly awesome white-knuckled bank robbery chase scene. There's a very intriguing romance that's set up between Ben Affleck and Sienna Miller. And without spoiling anything, there's a montage of about one minute that involves some prison time. After that sequence, the film screeches to a halt. I mean, dead. The issue is not the production design or the costume design or the music. All of the technical qualities of this film are top-notch A-plus material. The problem is the characters and the story, the two most important parts. It's just not that intriguing. The film loses a sense of how it's telling its story along the way and unfortunately becomes dull. I'm a big fan of Ben Affleck. Even as an actor, I like a lot of the stuff that he does. I was one of the first people to say, no, he's gonna be great as Batman, and guess what? He was, and I love how he directs films. But this is his first film that has all of the pieces in place, the pieces that you would expect to make a great film, but it just doesn't really know what to do with any of these pieces. And for a long time, the film struggles to tell a compelling story. There's a great backstory involving a father and daughter, played by Chris Cooper, and Ella Fanning. There's some really powerful stuff there that does lend to some extreme moments of tension and drama. And there's a second romance that blossoms in this film between Ben Affleck and Zoe Zaldana. And all the performers in this movie are excellent. Everyone is really giving their all. It's just that for pretty much the entirety of this film's second act, and even into some of the third act, the film just doesn't do anything interesting. It took until the big final shootout for there to be something to be excited about. By far the best part of this movie is the technical qualities of it, how Affleck helmed this movie, and especially the action sequences. Some of the set pieces in this movie are brilliantly filmed, and there's a lot of great stunt work and a good melding of CG with practical. But unlike his previous three films, the characters in this movie are so vapid, and the story itself rarely ever breathes to life. It was disappointing. This is not a terrible movie, as I said. Technically, it's a beautiful film. There's a really great score. All the actors are giving their all. The story just deflated, though. I'm gonna give Live By Night a C+. This was a more concise review, and the reason for that is because I have like five more videos to do in the next week. I have a lot of Oscar films that I was given early screeners for that I was able to see, and I'm gonna be reviewing a lot of those coming very soon. I hope you guys enjoy that, and as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.